it's me like 10 years into the future. Basically, um, I realised as I was editing this video, I'm literally just doing it now, that I didn't film an intro and an outro for it, so here's your intro. Um, this is basically just a very everyday makeup look for me, um, autumn sort of thing. I'm kind of wearing the same sort of thing today actually, so that works out. Um, a very sort of everyday look, uh, sort of with the oranges and yellows that I really love to use, so I really hope you enjoy it. I'm really sorry for being a great YouTuber again. Okay, so we are going to start with eyebrows, primed base and sellotape. I've done one eye off camera so you can sort of see the look I'm going for and we are going to get started, basically. So I'm going to start off with the Anastasia, Bobby, blah, blah, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to take a mixture of red ochre and Venetian red on a Morphe R41, I think this is. It's just a small, like, bullet crease brush type situation. Darkest colour first blending technique, everybody. Um, and I'm literally gonna pack that on the outer corner. Like so. And then just take it up through the crease bit by bit. This bit of, the, of this look is actually just so easy. This whole look is so easy, but it just creates a really nice effect. So, yeah. I know it looks a bit mental at the moment, let's be honest here. But hey, why is it struggling to focus so much? And then sticking with the same palette, I'm gonna take uh, Realgar. Realgar, Realgar, Re, Real. Realgar, I don't know how to say it. We're going to take this orange shade here on a kind of smaller fluffy blending brush. Uh, this is actually a brush that came in a Makeup Revolution palette. Um, I actually really like it, so <laughs> there you go. It's actually a really good blending brush, so yeah. Uh, and we're just going to blend out the edges of that red colour there. Don't worry if it's still like really messy at this point, it's fine. This is why I love the dark, the darkest colour first blending technique because you get the pigment but you can also get a really good blend and every colour still shows through um, and also you end up taking the eyeshadow much higher than you normally would if you put the lightest colour on first which I actually really like um, because it kind of utilises the lid space so much better. Okay, so now that that's a little bit more blended out and we've got like some more orange peeking through, you could use a brighter orange if you really wanted to but so I'd stick with the more subtle, I say subtle. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with a yellow, which is this one here, which is called BAM, I think, and it's from the Sleek Ultra Mats version one brights palette. And I'm taking this on the, I could not speak just then. I'm taking this on the um, Urban Decay Naked Smoky brush. Um, again, brush from a palette that I really like. It's actually a really good blending brush. Um, and I'm just gonna blend out the edges of that once more. I really, I just love yellow eyeshadow. Like, you know, three, four years ago, if you told me that I'd wear yellow eyeshadow on a regular basis, I would not have believed you, but I literally, I love yellow eyeshadow. I can't go like a day without wearing it. It's just, ugh, favorite thing ever. And there you go. That's all that blended out. I'm just gonna add a little bit more orange in just for, just to bring back the orange a little bit more. And that is literally the lid color, done, the blending crease colors done. And then I'm gonna go in with my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Lemon and a little flat shader brush, which I really need to wash because it's literally gummed up so badly with concealer. I need to wash all my brushes basically because they haven't been done for a few weeks now and they are disgusting. I'm just gonna pop some of the concealer on the back of my hand. I always put out way too much, but you know, it's better to be safe than sorry with these things. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna begin to cut out a half cut crease kind of shape, really. And what I like to do is I just put a blow on like that and then I look up and then that little line there, you can sort of see where the crease is gonna go. Um, and yeah, and I just put, take it a little bit above that line so that it actually shows through when I have my eyes open. Okay. 
And then what I'm going to do just to kind of smooth that out a little bit, I'm going to take a big kind of flat shader brush that I use for concealer. This is the Morphe E14. And just blend those edges a little bit there. And then just kind of pat it over just to smooth it. It's kind of hard to d explain what I'm doing, but it helps, I promise. And then I'm going to go back in with those red crease colours. So the red ochre and Venetian red shades from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm just going to blend them into the half cut crease. Not too far in. Just about. And then again, I'm going to go back in with that smaller blending brush and Realgar. And just blend that across the lid, basically just repeating what we did on the lid, just across rather than up. I kind of don't really have any actual technique to doing this, I, I kind of just wiggle the brush around on the lid until I sort of get the blend I want. I'm really bad at explaining how to do makeup, I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying. And then I'm going to go back in with the yellow shade and do exactly the same thing, basically, here. wiggle the brush around until you get the blend you want, I guess. And then we can do the inner corner. So what I like to do for the inner corner... Oh my god, my knee! This is what you get for sitting cross-legged on the floor to do your makeup. You get knees that feel like they should belong on a 70-year-old woman. Get that concealer off my hand so that I don't rub it on Tom's jumper because he will kill me. So what I actually like to do for the inner corner is, I have this really cool little product, it's the NYX um, Lid Lingerie in the shade, it's the matte white one basically. And I just put a little, back, a little bit, like because a little bit of this goes a really long way, so I'm going to put a, a tiny bit on the back of my hand, like so. And then I'm going to go back in with that same brush that we used for cutting out the crease, and just take an even smaller amount on this brush and literally just kind of pop it in that inner corner over the top of that concealer just to kind of get it really nice and white and then you have to blend it really quickly because it dries really fast so I actually use my finger like my little pinky finger just to sort of drag it into the yellow like so hopefully you can see what I'm doing enough. And yeah, just creates a really nice sort of white inner corner. And then to set that, because it does need setting, I'm going to go in with the white from the same palette that the yellow is from, uh, just on a small shader brush. And then I'm going to go back in with the yellow again and just wiggle the brush around until I get the blend I want. Same as bloody always. Like so. And that's basically the eyeshadow done. Like it's so simple and so easy. If you didn't want to use the white for the um, for the inner corner, you could literally just use a white eyeshadow and it would still kind of get the same effect. I just like having the sort of brightness. I just like having the sort of brightness that the, um, that the lid lingerie creates, so. Yeah, and now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my winged eyeliner, probably off camera because I'm going to get really close to the mirror for it, so, yeah. I feel like my eyeliner is such a surprise, like some days it goes really well and other days it goes like this. <sighs> so, but hey, you know, we tried, we tried. For concealer, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me and just pop that under my eyes, conceal all those circles, and just blend that out with the same flat shader brush that we used before, and then do some final blending with a sponge that seriously needs replacing because it's absolutely disgusting. For the lower lash line I'm kind of going to repeat what we did on the top, just missing out one colour. So I'm going to take again a mixture of the reds, so red ochre and Venetian red on a little bullet crease brush. Just run that underneath the lash line, like so. And then I'm going to go straight into the yellow, I'm going to skip out the orange because my under eye space isn't really big enough to do all of that. 
So I'm going to go back in with the yellow and just blend that out. And I'm going to go back in with the same white for the inner corner. You could, could go with a shiny highlight if you wanted to for the inner corner, but I kind of like how, how the matte one looks with this look, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to stick with it matte. And then I'm going to add mascara and then we can move on to the face. Wow, my eyebrows actually really are quite, quite wonky, aren't they? I'm not very good at eyebrows. I never said I was, okay? I never said I was good at eyebrows. Okay, it's face time. I have to do this really, really fast because um, I have to go in like half an hour for university. I'm gonna use uh, the Ordinary Serum Foundation as normal in the shade 1.0N, just squeezing that onto the back of my hand. Um, just so you know, I don't wear foundation every single day, just on days where I'm gonna be doing like a lot of running around and stuff because my face gets really red and I'm really self-conscious of it. This is the only reason I wear foundation, literally just to even out my skin tone because it's so, my skin gets so like blotchy and red. So and I find one and a half pumps of this foundation does like my whole face really well. So this has literally lasted me so long, so freaking good. Um, and Wet Beauty Blender and it works amazing. Imagine that though, if you could actually do your makeup in that time it takes for a YouTube video to be filmed. Not to be filmed, but to watch, like, wow. I'm gonna go in with the Sleek Contour Kit in light and do what it says on the tin, basically, and contour. My face routine is pretty much the same in every single one of my tutorials, so like, I should just do like one face video and then link it back to that if you wanna know how I do my face, because nothing changes in my face routine because I don't wear face makeup on a daily basis and like I'm not really that into it so I feel like my videos are a bit boring for the face part because I just don't really wear face makeup so I don't, I don't know let me know what you think about that I might just make like a separate video with like my current foundation routine and then just keep my makeup tutorials with my eyes because I feel like they're just really dull after this because they're all the same so it's like I do exactly the same thing to my face every time I film so and then obviously as normal going in with the NYX um, Strobe of Genius palette to just blush and bronze a little bit get a bit of glow going on put some colour back into my colourless face and then find my highlight brush which I know where it is and then I'm just going to highlight basically using the white one. I love pairing like an all matte eye with a really like glossy highlight. Honestly, sometimes in my face routine, the only thing I change is my highlighter, and then like I'll use like a lilac one sometimes, and that's literally the extent that it changes. Always highlight Cupid's bow and the Filtrum. Favorite thing to highlight, and then I'm gonna go in with lipstick. I haven't actually chosen which lipstick I'm gonna wear yet. I think, yeah, I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to go in with MAC Whirl for the lips, I think. I haven't worn this in ages. I find actual bullet lipsticks so hard to apply sometimes. Like, I can get a really good overline sometimes with, um, like, liquid lipsticks, but bullet ones. And here's your outro. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, please give it a comment, subscribe to my channel, because hell knows I'm desperate. Um, turn on the notification bell and please give this video a like, because it all really helps me out. And I know that every single person says that on the end of their videos, but it really does. So thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to spend it with me, and I'll see you in my next video. But if you wanna come back